Day two of the vlog. <laughs> what? Day two of the vlog, and the cool thing about not being on a strict diet is that I can do my cardio, walking to a restaurant, have takeout brought back here, and then we feast! <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. See you soon. Swipe this one. Here it is. Time to eat. So this is what I got. It's pretty healthy, but I'm not gonna eat only that. And she got French toast because she likes everything French. <laughs> and what's in there? Um, don't look. It's open. Oh! <laughs> Can I put syrup on it? Yeah, I want it more crispy though. Throw it in the pan. A little workout. Just me and the girls today. Look at that. All right. Hey. Fix the wrist in it, put the beret, put in the wrist in my physique champ, and I was like, hey, I'm here. Um, I'm a champ too. <laughs> so I kinda, I'm kind of i going to stick my way in, and even if I'm on the poster, I'm going to be behind the table and be part of it. All right, I think um, there's Flex Lewis right there. I think I'm just going to follow him and sit in the okay. front like a, like a blonde. I'm clear. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah, I think I can. I can. I can pull it off. You guys think? Yeah, you have to. You have to sit in the crowd, and I'll just follow. Okay. That's a secret. No, it's because that's a secret. I'm not on the poster. As I'll just follow him there, like a pretend I'm like the long range. That's not wrong. I'm behind. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm too skinny. Yeah, it's too skinny. Okay, that would be great. The one air conditioner to the generator. What if we do a? I don't know. Do we do announcements? Or are we doing this? Scott, are you here? Who else is, uh, who else we made, we waited for? Oh, here she is. Hello. What's up? Hello. Yeah. I didn't know you were part of that crew. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is it just to me? Yeah. I'm going to spike this. No. no. Oh, good. I'll, I'll give it back. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to Tim Gardner's Productions and obviously, more importantly, the Tampa Pro. Um, I'm obviously Neil Hill, I'm a prep coach, I've been in the industry for quite some time. My name is Brian Hendrickson, if you don't know I'm three-time men's physique, Mr. Olympia. What's up guys, Flex Lewis, same time 2012 home, Mr. Olympia champion. Yeah, I'm Antoine Bayan, I'm a baby pro, I just won the Chicago Pro um, two weeks ago, and I emailed, no, two weeks ago in the past. <laughs> so I, I saw it was a seminar, so I asked Tim Gardner, hey, can I be part of it, because I just won and stuff, and I just wanted to like, give you guys an opportunity to ask me questions about anything, so uh, here I am. Fantastic showing, by the way. <laughs> My name's Andrea Shaw. I am a two-time uh, Miss Olympia for women's bodybuilding. I'm Tina Williams. I'm a BB Pro bodybuilder. Um, I turned pro at the Miss International in 2018. To be honest, I'm not motivated all the time, but if I set a goal, and then sometimes I feel like what I'm doing, I hate it, but I still do it, so that's called discipline, right? So I just rely on discipline to get this shit done. But um, I feel like my purpose is just to keep getting better. And right now my goal is still like bodybuilding. But um, it's like for me, I find that either I'm gonna do my best and, and do this, and then the other option is like not very good, personally for me. So I feel like sometimes it's either I, I will perform to the max 
or I will like kind of fail miserably for those who I'm talking about. But um, yeah, so what I, I, I do, I just like, um, I try to uh, just every day, okay, well, what am I supposed to do right now? And then I just listen in my heart and I'm like, I gotta do that. But sometimes I don't wanna do it. So I use discipline to just get it done. I think the quote that like, discipline is like doing what you hate, like you love it. That's Mike Tyson's coach or Mike Tyson. That's where I got it from. So I think it's a great example that, yeah, I'm motivated, but not all the time. Motivation comes and goes, right? So discipline is what uh, I use. And we all use, of course. Uh, to add to that, sorry before I cut Miss Olympia off. <laughs> you have come back from two Korea threatening injuries. Yeah, but I sat there three years ago. I sat there last year. Yeah. yeah, so listen, your motivation and your dedication to this craft is incredibly strong because I know a lot of people said that. Ah, that's the end of the road for you. Oh. Not once, yeah. but twice. <laughs> more than one, more than twice. <laughs> more than twice. I, I was trying to come back from like, cause I had a drug addiction problem before I did like five rehabs, but I kept saying I'm coming back and I kept failing back 2014, 15, 16. I will always fail. People say he's done. But like you said, the only time you were done is when you, you knew you were done, right? I was never done in my head. So I just kept coming back and doing my best, you know? And um, yeah, but sometimes like these things are like, they're just part of life. Little setbacks, atrocious. Yeah, yeah, scars. You always love them, like them? Yeah, stories. So uh, we all got like our own little setbacks, but uh, we just overcome and keep going. That's life. Yeah. I mean, you threw up backstage. You remember that? And still went out and won. It felt great, though. I um, mean, <laughs> can you imagine being at the Olympia stage? You backstage. You got to barf. And you gotta get it out quick. Yeah. I, I mean, when I heard that story, I got so much respect because I'm like, ooh, I, I know I can push through and do it, but I mean, I would have to really guess my. I'm like, oh no. I mean, wow. Much respect. Much respect. You gotta want it. That's what. That's really. You have to want it. You gotta want it bad. Like, I mean, literally. So I just, uh, we just went to um, the restaurant. What's it called again? Uh, Burr Chris. Chris. Swishbees. Chris Burr. Burr. What was the last word that uh, you Burr, were saying? Chris, Chris Burr, Ruth Chris. Ruth Crispies. Crisps. Ru Ruth Crisps. Ruth Cr uh, Chris. It's the steakhouse. Okay. Anyway, it was good. We had like lots of food. And the thing that's like annoying when you do a show is that you know how you're really hungry, really, really are starving and hungry when you're prepping near the last few weeks. But now it's like it's still there, even though you can eat food. So even though like I go out and I eat food, it's like I eat like I. There was Fouad, there was Justin Shear, there was a um, squat like Chow was Ben Chow. There was a uh, Paul, yeah, Fouad and my friend Chris, and Flex Lewis, and I ate more than everybody there. Just went unnoticed. I, I, I was finishing Taylor's plate. I was starting to look at like Chris's mashed potatoes and I just told myself I'm eating because I was like, why am I the one eating the most here? And it's just because after a show, it's like, what's it called? I think it's called the ghrelin hormone. It doesn't like, you don't eat a meal and then you're not hungry anymore and you just stay not hungry. The ghrelin hormone thing squeaks to like settle. It's like every other hormone, right? It's not like a thing that's like just changes really quickly. So then, I'm stuck like starving. So you eat tasty food and then you, you're hungry even more. I just want to share that. <laughs> I wasn't explaining anything, I was just complaining. But uh, we got some cool stuff at the, the show there. The uh, Olympia stuff. Because I'm doing the Olympia. So I decided to do to grab some Olympia apparel. Motivation. Bought, bought it for motivation. Oh yeah, it fits good. Oh yeah. I like uh, it. Too bad, right? Give me a little spin. Oh, I like the hood too. Hey. Do I look like uncomfortable? No, I'm scared. You look good. I wish this was more like stretched, but. Well, maybe it's the jorts. Yeah. Yeah, speaking about shorts, Olympic shorts. Those are cool. Yeah, I'm gonna put the Olympic shorts. Oh, whoa. They're so, good. Check out your bum. It's just a, just a little snug. A little snug. 
Well, but maybe when I die down again, my legs will get smaller. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm, I have big Rami's legs right now. <laughs> I could wear them to sleep in and tie yeah, them you up. Could. You know it's snug when there's no room in the pockets. <laughs> Welcome to every girl's life. Yeah. Well, Is it good? How's the lighting? It's actually pretty good lighting, I think. Sweet. <laughs> what did you get, Taylor? Oh. Want to model the, the hoodie? Yeah, really. Ta -da! Olympia. Whoosh. Nice. It's all about the angles. It's all about the angles. Angles. <laughs> nice. So, I'm wondering. Is there something else I could eat? Oh my god, I just got home. I know, but. My body. It's you, the you, you have to listen to your body. You know, when it's time to rest, you rest. When it's time to sleep, you're tired, you sleep. But yeah, when you're hungry, you eat. But there's nothing really to eat here. Well, there's big effort meals. I'm keeping those for during the day when I diet. I diet during the day, I cheat at night. What's in the bowl? Vegetables? I cook vegetables, yeah. You can have a salad. No. Dill pickle salad. I feel like white fish in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I have like a sugar free syrup. Airbnb. Airbnb food. These are good. Ramen noodle soup is good. But I feel like it would be sodium suicide. Look at the sodium 1.5 oh gram. Oh my god. For Can one you little take soup. Take the flavor packet out and not use it. Yeah, but you take the flavor out. But just use a little bit. Yeah. Hundred calories. Cinnamon roll. Salmon? No, it's uh, cinnamon, not salmon. Did I say? I said cinnamon roll. No, I, I heard salmon. What about microwave popcorn? Microwave popcorn. What's the sodium in this? Sometimes after a show, what really kills you is like the sodium. How nice is it that our Airbnb has snacks? Three hundred and thirty. Oh. 2.5 serving per bag, so it's a gram, another gram of salt. Yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll just fucking go to bed. Anyways, guys, there was a little update on what happened on day two. All right, more to come. I'm happy you guys are watching this uh, new content I'm putting out. Thanks to everybody who subscribed. And will I eat some more or go to bed? That's the question. Comment below and guess what I did in the next video or in the comments, I'll let you know what I did. It's time for you to go to the gym, if you haven't already. That's my message to you today. That, and enjoy life to the fullest. Life is short, life is precious. Uh, don't waste any moment. Don't waste your energy on things that don't matter, really. All right, I am out.